See, a lot of independent artists and artists in general got to understand that everybody's walk is unique, you know? Like, just like, you know, everybody's fingerprint is different, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's hustle, grind, they're born into different situations. What's best for somebody else may not be what's best for you. And I always say the best way out is through. You got to go through the forest to get out, man. So, you know, you got to hustle right based on your circumstances and, and, and you aren't your circumstances or situations, man. So to my right, I'm, I'm sitting with uh, Low Gang Badgett representing Harrisburg, the 717. What's the deal? What's the deal? Chilling, man. Let's, let's talk about the way out is through. You know what I'm saying? You're from a small town, you know what I'm saying? Which, right. um, you know, comparative, comparatively in hip hop, you know, of course, with the New York, Atlanta's, LA's and whatnot. Right. How do you, how do you maneuver um, and, and maybe take advantage or just capitalize off being from a small town, a smaller market, we'll say. Right. And, um, you know, how do you maneuver with that? And then how do you take it to the next level to, to break boundaries? Right. Uh, well, basically, I mean, I mean, coming from a smaller market, like you said, I mean, uh, the biggest thing that, that you always got to remember is there's always something bigger than where you're at, but take advantage of where you're at as well. So, I mean, uh, the what we did as a unit was we did every show possible, but if you're not getting the the the... the most amount of love right there, you got to go to where the love is at. You got to take advantage of what's around you. So, yeah, it's a small market, but there's huge markets. Everything is within a, a three-hour radius from you. You got New York right up the road, New Jersey. You got Philly right down the street. Right. So you got to go to where the love is at. Tap into your lane, and that's where you got to go. For sure, you know your, tribe, I mean? your tribe may not necessarily be in your neighborhood, and the Internet brings the world, you know, a lot closer together. The world's a exactly. smaller place, so your tribe can be anywhere in the world. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And you just gotta go to the markets, man. You, you can't be afraid to show love, you know? I say that all the time. When you, you reach out to somebody, you never know what, what the opportunity may bring you. I mean, uh, even a bigger star, people right up above you, you have no idea what, what could transpire from that relationship that you build. That's how you get the opportunities. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Absolutely. That's how you move forward. Just don't be afraid to show love at first, to reach out so you can get to the bigger platform. Absolutely. You know I, mean? I mean, you know, we're in a business where you gotta kind of create your own luck. You can exactly. really get lucky, um, but I think too many people, too many artists bank off of luck. Like they're right. like, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to get signed. And it's right. like, that's, that's all. So it's pretty much like you're relying on luck. You're not relying on the grind. But if you set your expectations, uh, let's say for the sake of conversation, a little lower, like, you know, if you're not going to, you can DM Jay-Z or you can DM Jay-Z's engineer. Right. You're more exactly. likely to get a response from Jay-Z's engineer. Exactly. So if you shoot that shot just a few levels above you, or, and then show love back, you know, to let's say, I'm talking about from social media here, right? Yeah. You know, a few levels below you. Then now you start, you know, it's like you kind of climbing down, up, down, up, yeah. down. But you're still elevating without setting too lofty of goals or expectations. Yeah, 100%, man. I mean, even even like you said about reaching out to, to a, a Jay-Z or a Jay-Z's engineer, I mean, there's people that, that are even on a lower tier than that that, that you could reach out to that, that could put you in positions to maybe – have a sit down with a Jay Z's engineer, right? You know, at one point in time. So you just can't be afraid to to, to do those few things, man. It's all about um, the the uh, a process and continuing. You got to keep swinging. You no know doubt. what I mean? That, mm -hmm. That's really all it is. Is you keep swinging. Um, my biggest thing, what we rely on, man. We kind of old school. We still believe in street teams. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We want to hit the hit the hit the ground running it as hard as possible. So yeah, that's the flyers. That's the that's the merchandise okay. as you see right here. The yeah, logos. talk about that. Um, yeah, so I mean, we just now getting going, everything going with our merchandise here with the Loyals, um, hoodies, T-shirts, everything, you know, um, we got it. But this is one of your biggest pieces of marketing, you know what I mean? Just you give out free T-shirts, and, you know, a lot of rappers get that uh, confused as well. They think that, you know, you got to sell everything. I mean, we don't look at it as anything wrong with giving out 20 free T-shirts at, at a show because that's 20 people that now leave this building that may live in the bigger markets, the smaller markets somewhere else, and now your, your your brand is being shown and viewed all over the place. Yeah. So you know what I mean? And, you know, we're, we're real big on, on those, those tactics. I mean, we still think that they work outside of just the social media aspect of things, too. For sure. And I'm not a streetwear expert, but I think it's, it's pretty genius what you're doing that, you know, it says the loyals, right, which you mm -hmm. can, like, you know, if somebody's picking out some gear at the store and they see the hundreds or, the, you know, the mm -hmm. whatever, you know. A lot of artists fall short when they just put their face. I've done this, actually. I put my face on a shirt and <laughs> I got a box of them in my closet. It's lit, though. The design yeah. is crazy. Yeah. But, you know, like that, but you got your name 
on the right. sleeves. You know what I'm saying? And your your your, your name isn't you know it's not your government name. You got low right. name badge on there, so they see that. And the loyals, if if they were uneducated, you gave that to somebody. I'm sure right. it's, it serves as a gateway to your music, but they can flex that because it's drippy. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. But then for the ones that are loyal, they're like, oh no, you don't know about this, and they give somebody the backstory. Exactly, man. exactly. Yeah, and, and that's major, man. I mean, it's not just me. It's it's a team of us. So, um, all the merchandise is always going to go back to. The main point of the loyals. I mean, the, the reason why it's a wolf is it's a loyalty over everything. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, that was the foundation um, loyalty. So, was more loyal than a than a, than a wolf to his pack. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And that's how we look at it. So, all of the merchandise will have the name uh, of each artist. So, we got CBR Coop, who's gonna have his own name on his slides. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got Dally Boy. We got my man uh, Low Versus, Lumberjack Blackson. Everybody's gonna have their own name on their merchandise, but. It all goes back to the squad, you no know doubt. what I mean? No Family doubt. first, and, and that's how we like to look at it. For sure. You know so what before mean? we get out of here, what, what's the one thing that you want to let the world know about Low Gang Badges and, and the Lord? Oh, Low Gang Badges, man. I, I'm coming, man. I'm coming. I got um, two singles out right now on all platforms. Uh, Amen. Pray for me. Uh, both of them doing rather well. Both videos up on YouTube, also on all streaming platforms. Uh, dropping a new album and since graduation too. Um, the first album dropped last year. It's out on all platforms as well. And uh, we coming, baby. So, man, word, word to the wise to artists that are that are creating out here that are shooting a shot to to the people because you know the music industry is a very fan driven business. If you ain't got fans, you probably ain't got no money. You don't have a career. You don't have to be a dope artist to then release merch to then have your music be a pathway to the merch. Your merch can be a pathway to your music and vice versa. At the end of the day, you're creating art and you're trying to tell a story and you're trying to reel people in. So whether you're putting your name, face, art on a CD cover, single cover digitally, or on a a bandana, uh, some jeans, a hoodie, or a t-shirt, man, it's an opportunity for you to connect with people. So whatever you know, motivates you to be creative on whatever medium, whether it's on this microphone or it's on a t-shirt. Take full advantage of that and explore that within yourself. You never know what you'll find and you never know who you're going to reach with your art through whatever medium you choose to do it, man. This is High Off Life TV, High Off Life Freestyle, Low Game Badget. Just bodied it. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, man. Yeah, we in there.